with. I just saw a comment where a guy was like, he basically said, if you ate a thousand calories a day of just donuts, you will get fat. And I, I, re I replied to the comment, I'm like, I disagree. It's not even, it, it's just, it's purely thermodynamics. Every day your body, let's just say a hypothetical lifter, his body with doing his cardio in the morning and his workout at night. Well, I guess if I say do his cardio in the morning, that's not realistic for you. But no, let's say he does his lift every night and then he goes home, he goes, he does his whole day like normal. His body needs two and a half thousand calories to operate and stay the same weight. So if he eats 2000 calories worth of Skittles, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, chocolate milk, protein shakes, egg, whatever. If he eats 2000 calories total at the end of the day, he will lose weight. And if he ate 3000 calories worth of chicken, rice, vegetables, salads, like conventionally healthy foods, he's still gonna gain weight. In terms of changing how much you, how much you freaking weigh, it's just a numbers game with the calories. Yeah, the laws of thermodynamics are true and they do determine weight loss and weight gain, but there's so much more to health than this. And you wanna be very fucking careful taking health advice from someone that's jacked up to the wazoo on steroids and God knows what at age 22, because this dude has no idea what's coming for him if he's gonna eat this way for the next 10 or 20 years and stay on the amount of gear that he must be on to be looking like that. Because there's real health problems that come from eating such a shit diet or getting so many of your calories from sugar. And so the one that I wanna talk about now is gut health. Eating a thousand calories a day of donuts is gonna dramatically impact your gut. If you're Sam Sulak and you're 22 years old, you probably don't give a shit about what's going on in your gut and about thinking about the problems that are gonna come later on in life. But if you do care about health and you wanna make sure that as you age, you don't have major health problems, be very careful taking health advice from someone like this who's 22. Maybe consider rather taking health advice from someone like me who's 46 and who can demonstrate health and longevity. I think there's a real problem in the fitness space right now. There's too many people, young guns, who really have no fucking idea what health means and it's all just about what's working for them now. Let's have a look at a couple of studies that talk about what is happening in your gut when you eat like this. A high intake of sugar and the balance between pro and anti-inflammatory gut bacteria. The so-called Western diet is rich in saturated fat and sugars and poor in plant-derived fibers. And it is associated with an increased risk of metabolic and cardiovascular diseases, as well as chronic low-grade inflammation. Sugars and gastrointestinal health. Sugar overconsumption is linked to a rise in the incidence of non-communicable diseases such as diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, and cancer. There's more to health than just being fucking jacked. There really is. Health shouldn't just be measured by the way you look. It should be measured by the way you perform and feel and what's going on inside your body. And although the laws of thermodynamics are true and they will determine weight loss and weight gain, there's a lot more to it than that. Because think about this. If you were gonna eat two and a half thousand calories a day, like Sam's example, and a thousand calories is coming from donuts and all that other shit that he talked about, where's the room for the protein and good quality fiber? Because fiber, absolutely is important for health. And we need plant fibers, we need good quality fibers, not shit like donuts. So just watch out when you follow advice like this from fitness influencers that are 22 years old and that are jacked as all fuck, telling you that you can you know, go out and eat a thousand calories of donuts in a day and you're gonna remain at the same weight because it's not all about that. There's more to health than the way you look.